All right, so so today we're going to really dig into this New Jersey Innovation Hub, yeah. the NGIH. Yeah. Um, and, and it seems like the whole point here is to create a space where startups and big companies and researchers can all sort of come together and and make magic happen. Yeah, and, and what's so interesting about it is it's not just a, you know, an office building somewhere. This NJIH is part of a five-acre innovation district called the Helix, and it's right there in New Brunswick. Okay, so location, location, location. Exactly. And I mean, smack in the middle of the Northeast Corridor, I mean, you've got major players all around in, in health and life sciences. Exactly. I mean, think of the Helix as this this thriving ecosystem, and the NJIOH is a very special habitat within that. It's, you know, designed to foster this very specific type of interaction between different players. Okay, so walk me through this. Like, what's what's the big idea behind putting everyone under one roof? What's the advantage? Well, the NJIH is really all about creating a shared value proposition. So it's not just, you know, giving people office space or lab facilities. It's creating a space where both early stage companies and these established giants can benefit from each other's presence. Okay, I'm all ears. How does that work? Well, think about it. You've got all these, you know, hungry startups. They're brimming with these fresh ideas and they want to disrupt the market, but they need resources. They need mentorship. They need connections to take off. So that's where the big players come in. Precisely. The established companies bring experience, they bring resources, they bring these networks, they can be mentors, they can provide funding, they can provide partnerships. Okay, but it can't just be a one-way street. No, of course not. So what's in it for the big guys? Why would why would a company like, say, Johnson & Johnson want to set up shop next to some tiny little startup? Well, because those small startups, they could be cooking up the next big thing in healthcare. So the big companies get this front row seat to innovation, a chance to see, you know, potential acquisitions, Mm -hmm. partnerships, investment opportunities before anyone else even knows about them. It's like having a crystal ball into the future of their industry. Yeah. I mean, that's huge in a world that's constantly evolving. I mean, you're basically getting a sneak peek at, you know, what could be the next blockbuster drug or groundbreaking medical device. Absolutely. It's that early visibility that can make all the difference in staying ahead. So you've got these startups. They're hungry for growth. You've got these established giants. They're looking for the next big thing. Sounds like a match made in innovation heaven. And and the NJIH is designed to be that matchmaking space. They're talking okay. over 100,000 square feet dedicated to this kind of interaction. State-of-the-art labs, mm-hmm. collaborative workspaces, you name it, they're going to have it. Sounds like they're building a playground for innovation. Yeah. But, yeah. but it's got to be more than just the physical hmm. space, right? What else are they doing to, to actually foster these collaborations? Well, it's really about creating a culture of collaboration, you yeah. know, targeted workshops, mentorship programs, networking events, all designed to bring these very different types of players together and spark those aha moments. I love that. Aha moments. And and just to foster that sort of serendipitous interaction, like you bump into someone in the hallway and end up, you know, hashing out this game-changing idea. That's what I love about this. It's not just scheduled meetings and formal presentations. It's Mm -hmm. about creating that environment where those organic collisions of ideas can happen. Right, because sometimes the most groundbreaking innovations come from the most unexpected places, you know? You might have a researcher working on a cure for cancer bump into an entrepreneur who's developing, you know, some revolutionary way to deliver drugs to the body separately. They're both doing amazing work, but (laughs) together, you know, they could create something really revolutionary. And the NGIH is designed to make those kinds of connections happen more organically. Exactly. And, And it's not just connecting people. It's also about connecting them with the resources they need to succeed. Give me some examples. Well, for early stage companies, I mean, access to funding is always a major hurdle. So the NJIH is designed to connect them with potential investors, venture capitalists, grant opportunities. They'll also have access to, you know, legal and business development support to help them navigate the whole complex world of, you know, commercializing these innovations. So it's like this one stop shop for startups. Yep. To get everything they need to grow and scale their businesses. Exactly. And for established companies, it's about access to that cutting edge research and development. They can, you know, tap into the talent pool at the university partners, collaborate with researchers on projects that align with their business goals. Yeah, it's like having this direct pipeline to the brightest minds in their field. Uh. And I imagine that the NJH will also have like all the latest and greatest equipment and facilities for those collaborations. Absolutely. State of the art labs prototyping workshops, even clinical trial facilities. You know everything you need to take an idea from just a concept to reality. This all sounds incredible, but but I got to ask, 
Are there any potential downsides to this model? It almost sounds too good to be true. Well, you know, one challenge will be managing the complexity of such a diverse ecosystem. I mean, you have big companies, small startups, academic researchers, government agencies, mm -hmm. all operating under one roof. So, you know, ensuring that everyone's needs are met and that collaboration runs smoothly is going to be a significant undertaking. It's like trying to orchestrate a symphony with musicians from different genres, each playing their own instrument. It takes a really skilled conductor to make sure that everyone's in sync and playing the same song. Exactly. And another challenge is going to be ensuring that the benefits of this innovation ecosystem are shared equitably. You know, we don't want the NJIH to just become this exclusive club for the wealthy and well-connected. All right, so they need to be intentional about creating opportunities for entrepreneurs and researchers from diverse backgrounds and, and socioeconomic groups. Absolutely. And they also need to make sure that the benefits of the NGIH extend beyond just the walls of the helix and into the surrounding community. So thinking about potential impacts, mm -hmm. what, what could this model mean for the future of healthcare and life sciences in New Jersey? I mean, the potential is enormous. Imagine a world where the next cure for cancer or Alzheimer's disease is born right here in New Jersey. And it all starts with a chance encounter between a researcher and an entrepreneur in the hallways of the NGIH. It's like a real-life superhero origin story. It really is. It's about creating an environment where those serendipitous moments can lead to groundbreaking innovations that improve the lives of millions. It's about fostering a culture of collaboration and innovation. They can, you know, ripple outwards and benefit the entire state and even beyond. And it's about showing the world that New Jersey is a hub for cutting-edge research and development, a place where the brightest minds come together to solve the world's most pressing problems. I mean, it's inspiring to see such a deliberate effort to create an environment where innovation can truly flourish. It really is. And it'll be fascinating to see what emerges from this unique ecosystem in the years to come. So for you listening... What does all this mean for you? Well, it's a reminder that innovation can happen anywhere, even in your own backyard. If you have a great idea, a burning passion to make a difference, don't underestimate the power of collaboration and community. Seek out those spaces where different perspectives collide, where you can connect with mentors and resources that can help you turn your vision into reality. I mean, the NGIH might be this hyper-focused example but it's a sign of the times. This kind of cross-pollination between academia and industry and entrepreneurs, it's happening everywhere. So keep your eyes open for opportunities to be part of something bigger than yourself. Maybe there's a budding idea or project you have that could benefit from an environment like the NGIH. What kind of collaborations could you envision within a space that deliberately mixes industry giants with fresh new talent? It's a question worth pondering. Yeah. And and on that note, I think we've reached the bottom of our deep dive into the New Jersey Innovation Hub. Yeah, a fascinating glimpse into a future where collaboration and shared value are the driving forces behind innovation. This NJIH, it really feels like they're onto something big with this. This whole idea of shared value where everyone benefits from working together. You know, this model could really take off beyond New Jersey. Yeah, I, I think so, too. Yeah. You know, this type of intentional ecosystem building it could be a model for other industries and regions, like how to really encourage innovation. It, it makes you wonder, what could come out of this kind of setup when you're intentionally mixing those established companies with these up and coming innovators? Yeah, you never know. Sparks are bound to fly. Absolutely. That's what's so great about bringing all these different types of expertise and perspectives together. You know, you never know what kind of new solutions will come out of it. It's like they're setting the stage for serendipity. Exactly. And and that's really where the magic of innovation is. You know, it's not always about carefully planning everything out or following some formula. It's about creating an environment where those unexpected connections can happen, where that big idea comes from a collaboration you never would have thought of. So for anyone listening, what's the big takeaway here? What can we learn from this deep dive into the NJIH? Well, it's a good reminder that innovation doesn't just happen on its own. It happens when you bring people together, when you have a variety of different ideas and thoughts. And when people are ready to embrace the unknown, the NJIH is a great example of how to do all of this. And, and even if you're not in healthcare or life sciences, I mean, the ideas here, they're universal, like the power of working together and sharing the rewards the importance of bringing together innovators from different generations, and the need to create those spaces where serendipity can happen. Exactly. These are ideas that can apply to any industry, any organization, yeah. any community. So you know as you're going about your day or week or year, 
Think about the spaces that you're in, the people you're interacting with, how you approach different problems. Think about how you can make it more likely to have those aha moments, those unexpected connections that spark innovation. How can you be a catalyst for positive change in your own work and in the world around you? Those are some really powerful questions to think about. And with that, I think we've reached the end of our deep dive into the New Jersey Innovation Hub. It's a story we'll definitely be following closely. And we encourage all of you to do the same. The future of innovation is happening right here, right now. And it's a story for all of us. 